The wrapping gifts together thing is actually something that Cleon, Harpy, and I used to do as kids. It's literally impossible for me to picture the three of us children together. <laughs> Harpy, ever the golden child, came home from her fancy British boarding school on Christmas break and declared she would be wrapping all of the gifts. And sure enough, she did it immaculately. But come Christmas morning when Dad let us into the living room, Cleant and I had a stack of beautifully wrapped gifts under the tree and Harpy just had a pile of things. When it's finished. What, my final piece? Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure I haven't even started it. Well, I know that. I'm not an idiot. I mean, when it's done. I want to be the first to see it. Okay, then. Promise? I never killed anyone who didn't deserve it. As far as I know, you've only killed your stepfather. I should have taken care of my mother. She knew all along. You remind me of her. I remind you of your mother? Always so put together. Like you iron your underwear. Like you smell of the apricot of the promised land and the bread of the... All right, Chloe. You have no money? Oh, yeah. That's right. You're laugh right. That's right. You are. Just kidding. It's a nice car. I always wanted a red Camaro. It's a firebird. Let me drive it. No. I said I borrowed it. So what does that mean? It means I gotta keep it in one piece. Ha uh ha, -huh, very funny. I haven't been your friends in a long time. Are you happy? That's what I didn't want to tell you. I no longer enjoy your company. I'm leaving. It's over. The end. You just said you'd always love me. I lied. I don't believe you. You don't believe me. Huh. And that's that, I guess.